Hello friends, my name is uh, Professor M. S. Rao. I served in the Indian Air Force and I have been hitting gym for more than 30 years. Unfortunately, I was uh, bedridden due to brain stroke during the second wave of coronavirus in the year 2021. And uh, I am trying to get back to normal say. My right hand was paralyzed and uh, my, uh, my uh, right hand is problematic. Sometimes I am uh, stammering, sometimes I am uh, forgetting. I have mental challenges, physical challenges and financial challenges, but I am not giving up. I was born in a toxic family and grew up into a toxic environment. My life is full of struggles and sufferings. On an average uh, two hours in a day, I am doing physiotherapy exercises. Two hours in a day, I am going for a walk. And six hours in a day, I am sitting with the internet. I am basically a creative writer, but I am not able to write because of uh, the uh, brain stroke and uh, also because of the paralysis to my right shoulder. I am doing some of the activities and exercises to overcome my frozen shoulder mm. and to overcome numbness. Uh, I have a blood clotting so I am using blood thinner. Doctors uh, have advised me that I have to uh, take blood thinner throughout my life to avoid any kind of uh, health issues. I have authored more than uh, 50 books, including the award winning book titled See the Light in Me, for which Nobel Laureate uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama has written a foreword. In fact, I have written 60 books and uh, 50 have been published, 10 books are under uh, uh, publication. I want to write, because, but I am not able to write. Uh, because there is a lack of focus and I am not able to concentrate because of uh, mental challenges. <sighs> I was a college dropout. I joined Indian Air Force when I was 18 years of age. I was not blessed with regular education because I uh, was a, a college dropout. So after I joined uh, the Indian Air Force, uh, I acquired a couple of qualifications including DME, BAC, MBA, MBA, PGDCLR. PGDBM and finally I had my PhD in soft skills in the year 2011. I 
I am grateful to Indian Air Force for grooming me as a healthy citizen, as a leader. I am also grateful to Indian Air Force that I came out of my toxic parents and toxic siblings. So never ever give up and create your own destiny. Your life is in your hands, so don't blame others, don't scapegoat others, take responsibility and create your own destiny. My vision is to build 1 million students as global leaders by 2030. So far I have trained more than 50,000 students as global leaders. But after the coronavirus things have changed, I started sharing my knowledge online through various social media platforms including LinkedIn and YouTube. I am passionate about learning. I am passionate about reading. I am passionate about sharing my knowledge freely with the world. I want to groom students as global citizens. I have written a book titled Vision 2030, One Million Global Leaders, for which uh, uh, Dr. Karen Bailey, the first woman IPS officer, has uh, written a foreword, and I have dedicated this book to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam because I admire him very much. Abraham Lincoln is my inspiration since childhood and uh, I follow the ideals and the ideas of Mahatma Gandhi and uh, I believe the ideas and I'm saying uh, ideas and ideas of Swami Vedanta and one of the books I have dedicated to Swami Vedanta on the eve of 150th birth anniversary. Create your own destiny, don't blame others, and be resilient, and uh, never bother for challenges. Challenges help you think out of the box, challenges help you grow as a great leader, challenges help you grow as a resilient uh, leader. So be positive and be optimistic in life, never ever give up. I have crossed uh, 58. But I am not giving up. Doctors uh, uh, thought that I would be dead, but I survived after the brain stroke. Mm -hmm. So I have the attitude of gratitude. I want to write a uh, yeah, memoir or uh, my autobiography. Uh, I want to share my challenges, problems, and betrayal by uh, my family members, uh, some of the hope relatives. And uh, I want to uh, write a memoir. Hopefully, I will uh, write uh, a memoir or my autobiography once I am back to the track. I still have to be careful for one more year to get back to normalcy. I still belong to a, a lower middle class family. Uh, I, I, I don't have any regular income and I don't get any pension. So, so many challenges. 
and uh, add, uh, added to this is uh, brain stroke that uh, disturbed my uh, health and uh, ruined my prosperous but I am not giving up. I will fight to the finish. I will raise like a phoenix. I served in the Indian Air Force for more than a decade and I did business for more than a decade and for the last 15 years I have shared my knowledge with the world. I was not blessed with any mentor or coach so I want to shape students as global leaders. I want to coach them and I want to mentor them. So this is my vision. Hopefully I will uh, serve students and build a better world. The message from this uh, video is that uh, identify the important uh, issues uh, that are very close to your heart and uh, address the challenges and add value to others. Remember, you are gifted uh, with a limited uh, time span on this beautiful earth. So, serve others, make a, a difference in the lives of others. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel.